Okay, guys, all semester we've been talking about geometry. And um, specifically, we've talked about how our entire world is geometry. Everything around us, um, from a point to a line to a surface, everything um, to triangles and rectangles and area and perimeter and tr um, angles, everything is geometry. And now we're to the last section, which is called motion geometry. So I'm gonna do two things. We're gonna talk about motion in general, and then I'm gonna show you how to tessellate an object and how to make a tessellation. So the first thing let's talk about is motion. Um, so I have my TI here. How can I move this in space? How can you move any object in space? This includes your body. Normally I would do a demonstration in class, but I'm not gonna do a cartwheel on a video or attempt it really in person. But, and so how would I move this TI? Well, I can move it up and down. I can move it left and right. And um, I can rotate it 45, 90, 180. I can reflect it down. I can reflect it over. Okay, so those are the types of movements in space. Um, now we're, so there's a few types. Let's go back over them. Um, we can translate it left, right, up, and down. We can rotate, okay, clockwise and counterclockwise, and we can reflect. Okay, so now let's look at a tessellation. A tessellation, let me show you examples. There's a famous painter called M.C. Escher, and you'll see this on the PowerPoint later. M.C. Escher, and he uh, made paintings like this famous. You see them? So I'm going to get closer. Um, if you look at like the bird one in the middle and the lizard one right here, right here, um, you can see that it's one object that's been moved through the space over and over. I'm going to put this down here um, and let me move you down now. So I'm going to move you down to the paper. Okay. So if you look at, let me turn this over so you can see better. Look at this one right here. This one is a bunch of cats. Let me get closer and that way you can see. You'll see that better. We have a bunch of cats. There's black cats and white cat. And you can see this shape right here that's been tessellated over and over and over and over and over. And then they just colored in the objects. So you can kind of see the shape that's been tessellated over and over. And if you look at the shell one, you can see how it changed shapes. And then we have this one. This one's a really unique one because this shape has been turned and tessellated all over the page. And then we have the bird and the fish one. I love this one. So, okay, going back up. So you are going to see several examples on the PowerPoint slides of shapes like this. And you're also going to see examples of what students have made me. So your homework is going to be to take something like this, a three by five card, and make your own shape. Um, so here's what you need. You need a card or something um, thick that you can cut. So let's say you're like, I don't have a three by five card or the larger one, eight and a half by 11. Let me see. Get a mail circular, something that comes in your mail that's thick. You can cut this up. Um, you just need something thick. You could even use an envelope or a bill or anything thick. Okay, so you need something that's in a rectangular shape. You need scissors. You need tape. And you need a pin. And you also need a big piece of paper, something like this. Um, again, if you don't have paper at home, what can you do? Um, use a paper bag. Use a canvas. Um, use anything that you have. Use a magazine. So just be creative. You can cut open um, an Amazon box or an Amazon package. So. Okay, now I'm going to move you down again, and I'm going to show you how to make your own puzzle piece. Okay. So, here's all the items you need. The first thing is you take your, now, um, it's, you're not going to be able to probably predict your shape. So, I'm just going to 
from corner to corner make some kind of shape. Okay, so if you notice, I went from corner to corner. Um, this is important because then when I take this piece off and move it over here, this card will fit perfectly inside of itself. Okay. Now, some students try to predict and interpret what the shape will be, and you can kind of do that. I am not that good. Then you also want to draw from this corner to this corner a shape. Maybe I'll do a, a little bit of a heart. Okay, so there are two shapes. Now we're going to cut this one out and tape it over here, and we're going to cut this one out and tape it up here. Okay, so I'm going to do my best. I'm left-handed, but right-handed with scissors. It's a really odd personality trait that I've got going on here. Okay, and, oh god, I'm not doing the best job at cutting, guys. Fabulous. Okay, so I cut that out. So I'm going to go back here. You can see I cut it out right here. And then I'm going to tape it to this side so that this is a puzzle piece to where this side will fit in over here. Okay. Do my best. Okay, I have that. Now I need to cut out this one. Sorry about the time it takes. You can obviously fast forward through this video to get to the good part, or you can just watch me cut with scissors. Okay, so now I have my weird shape, and this I will take and move up here. So let me show you again. You take it identically, you just slide, so take it from right here and slide it up here. You gotta be careful, you put it right on corner to corner. Okay. I'm tape happy, sorry guys. I'm a little tape happy here. But I wanna make sure my shape stays forever. Or at least so I finish this assignment. Okay, I think I have it. All right, so now I have created a puzzle piece that completely replicates itself. So when I fold it like this, it'll match, and when I fold it like this, it'll match. But we're not folding it, okay? So just to be clear, we are not folding it, okay? So what you're gonna do is, let's say you choose this spot to start. Honestly, I would probably start on the corner and move it over. So why don't we do that? Start right here. And you're going to replicate this here, 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 and here. So start down at the bottom maybe. Okay. I'm going to put it on the paper. Make sure it's all the way on the paper. And I'm going to trace it. Just do your best. I'm going quicker because I'm sure you're over this video already. Trace it. There we go. Okay. Look, it's my shape. Now, if I take my shape, okay, so it was here. If I move it up and trace it, I'll make one above it. Okay. That's why you want to make your shape really sturdy. Don't just use a piece of paper. Try to use one of those circulars or something you got in the mail or a piece, strong piece of paper. And then I can also move it over here. And then I can also move it up here. And you can see what happens. So now once I have tessellated this, all over the paper, I um, hold off. 
Um, then I look at this shape and I try to decorate it. And I think, what does this look like to me? You can make it up. You can do something creative. You're going to look at in the PowerPoint video and you're going to look at more examples in the PowerPoint video of things that my students have made. And you're going to finish this and upload it to um, Blackboard for your summit. So, all right. Bye, guys. I'll talk to you later.